to the rack. I keep this clothing rack outside of my closet obviously and I love to put items that I'm wearing really often so I change it out per season. Starting off in the front we do have some of my newer jackets. I have done several fall hauls so if you guys haven't seen those please check out those videos. We have this new teddy jacket that I just got from Anthropology. Behind my new leather trench, I also just have my old leather jacket. Well, it's not old, but it's just not as new as this one, but I have my previous, I guess, leather jacket, but obviously I'm not going to retire this one just because I have this new one. This new one is a longer trench style coat and the one behind it is like a cropped moto style leather jacket. So they definitely are different and have different vibes. So I have both of them out. I have a blazer behind that. Of course, I have my two pairs of leather pants from Aritzia. I have my dark brown pair and of course my black pair. We have this really pretty plaid pair of work pants that I love to wear to work. Honestly, all throughout the year, but especially during fall just because it's this really pretty like tan plaid pattern that I love. I also have this pair of work pants. These are like a dark burnt orange color. Those are super fun. I also changed out my rack to include a lot of my favorite sweatshirts and sweaters. I'm not going to go through every single one, but I just picked out my favorites like this one from Drew House, which is Justin Bieber's clothing line. So that is the clothing rack as of now. Obviously things might change as the season progresses and it turns cold as we go into winter I might switch some of these items out um, specifically like the sweatshirts if I get sick of 
the couple that I've laid out here, I might switch them out for other ones, but I feel like this is also a good balance of like color. Obviously we have a lot of neutrals, but I wear a lot of neutrals generally and especially in the fall and winter, but I do feel like there's a few good pops of color in here as well. So I'm pretty pleased with how it's looking right now. This is my lovely dinner that I ordered on Uber Eats. I am currently quarantining in my home because I've been exposed to COVID. I am not sick, but you know, just in case. And I've also tested negative three times. So just to be safe, I've been limiting like going to places and seeing people obviously just in case, but as of now, I'm okay. Anyways, I ordered from my favorite sushi kind of like Asian fusion place. So I got scallion pancakes, which look amazing. They're so like flaky and buttery, so good. I also got some pork dumplings, of course a Coke, and then I got some spring rolls. These are like the best spring rolls I've ever tried and the sauce is really good. I don't think it's a normal duck sauce, like a sweet and sour, it kind of is like spicier. I also just got a really tiny thing of cucumber and avocado sushi, just one order. I typically get two, so it comes with 12, but I feel like with this other food, I really won't need to eat 12 pieces of sushi. I feel like six will be sufficient. I just got it with some soy sauce and some spicy mayo. So I'm so excited to eat this. I literally can't wait. This is the perfect thing to eat. It's like rainy and gross outside too. So I'm just so excited to eat all of this warm, delicious food.
wanted to take a minute in this video to show you guys some of my new fall purchases. I got some new perfume, some lip stuff from Rode, and I also picked up a few new fall candles the other day. So kind of miscellaneous, but I did want to show it in this fall week in my life vlog. I have been waiting several weeks for the new tinted Rode peptide lip balms to come in the mail. I ordered these the day that they launched. I got three out of the four of them. I didn't get the lightest pink just because I don't know I just don't think that would be a super flattering color on me it's like a very very light baby pink and I just don't think that that would really work with my skin tone however the other three the darkest three that I picked up are perfect and I've been loving them lately so here they are in all their glory they are amazing so far I've mostly been alternating between these two shades this one's really beautiful as well but I've just mostly been drawn to these two so this one on the bottom is toast this one in the middle is espresso and the top is raspberry jelly. I'm actually wearing toast on my lips right now. I do have a lip liner on, but these are beautiful. They're pretty sheer, I would say, but if you do layer them with a lip liner or a lipstick or lip stain underneath, the color really stays. So I love this little combo that I did. I used an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip pencil. The lightest shade, which is like the ballerina pink one, is really beautiful as well. And honestly, if I had layered it with a deeper lip liner, it probably would work with my skin tone. But I also wanted to be able to wear these on their own. I don't want to always be wearing these with like a full face of makeup. So far, I'm really impressed with the line and I really love these new tinted lip peptide treatments. They are amazing. We have a little guest over here that's just joined us on the couch but anyways getting into my next thing which I actually just ordered a bunch of new perfumes from Dossier I feel like I've just been running out of a lot of my perfumes lately and I wanted to try some new ones I love Dossier if you are not on the Dossier wave I highly suggest you get on it because they basically just make designer dupes of a lot of really popular perfumes. They have both perfume and cologne dupes. I've gotten a few colognes for my boyfriend as well that he's really enjoyed. So I just really love the brand. Literally every single one of their perfumes is like $50 and under. And they have dupes for Mason Margiela, YSL, Joe Malone, just like all my favorite brands and perfumes that I already love. So I picked this one up. This is Woody Sage. It's inspired by the Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt fragrance, which is definitely one of my favorites. This is a really great perfume for the fall. So I love this and I already have it, but I'm running low of it. So I decided to try out the Dossier dupe. And let me tell you, it smells exactly the same. It actually is crazy how spot on they get these. I really love Dossier and I tried out this Woody Sage one, which definitely, definitely smells like the Jo Malone. So I love this. And this is one of my favorite fall scents from Jo Malone. So I'm very excited that I now have a brand new bottle. Obviously it's the dupe version, but they literally smell exactly the same. So who cares? The Jo Malone ones are like $130 and this Dossier dupe was like $30. So literally saving so much money and I'm getting basically the exact same thing. So obviously I'm gonna go with Dossier, you know? I got two other perfumes. Both of these are new to me, both the dupe, the Dossier dupe, and just like the regular version as well. I've never owned either. This one is called Citrus Green Apple and it is inspired by Dolce & Cabana, light blue for women. The top notes are green apple, lime. The middle notes are bluebell and jasmine and rose. And the base notes are amber, cedar wood, and musk. Kind of smells like the beach a little bit. I mean, it's Dolce & Cabana light blue, which I have smelled before. I've just never owned it. I could definitely see myself wearing this in the spring and summer as well, but, but that woodsy musk, amber, cedar wood, all of that as the base notes really remind me of fall. So this is definitely a very clean, fresh type of scent and I really like it. So loving that so far. Last dossier fragrance that I got is inspired by Le Labo Santal 33. And this one is called Woody Sandalwood. I actually don't quite know that I'm in love with this yet. I think it's because this is so random and this is how you know like scents really do play a part in like memories. So the first time I put this on was at like 5 a.m. and I was about to drive somewhere for work and I wasn't feeling that well. My stomach was really hurting. I was really tired. I had also just gone through something personal over the weekend that was sad. So I just overall was not feeling that good. And now every time that I use this, I 
just feel sick. But I don't think it's like, this is so random. I don't think it's like this particular scent that's like causing me to feel sick. I don't think I'm like allergic to anything in here. I'm not really like allergic to scents or perfumes. Like I don't have sensitive skin. I don't really have a sensitive nose, but I think it's because I used this when I wasn't in a good mood, A. B, I was really tired and overwhelmed. C, I was like, my stomach was hurting. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling myself that day. I just overall was very unwell the first time that I used this. And now every time I use this, I don't like it. So I don't know. Maybe it's just because I used it for the first time when I like wasn't feeling that good. I really don't know. But anyways, this does smell really good. I would like to say that, but I think it's just because of that like memory now. I know they have a lot of different scents. I really like their Rose 33 scent. So I might see if Dossier has a dupe for that because I know the Le Labo perfumes are very, very expensive as with the rest of the brand, but I'm excited to continue to try all of these out. I honestly do really like it. I just think that first time that I used it, I was not feeling well. So now every time I use it, it reminds me of that time where I wasn't feeling well, um, but I'm wearing it today and I really like it. Like, I don't think I really like the scent when it first comes out of the bottle, but once it like dries down on my skin, which is obviously the true test. I really do love it. And it smells really good right now. Now on to my candles. I was at Bath and Body Works the other day. I was actually getting my best friend a birthday gift. I was just at the mall like shopping around and I was getting her a bunch of different stuff, but I had to get a few things for myself. So actually first I got a little concealer from Rare Beauty. This is the Positive Light Under Eye Brightener in the color medium. I was at Sephora getting my friend whose 25th birthday it just was the other day. She really loves Rare Beauty, so I was getting her a blush and a lip gloss and you know a couple other things from Sephora. So this is the concealer from Rare Beauty. It is the under eye brightener, so it's not actually a concealer, but it's what I use underneath my concealer and on no makeup makeup days you know i will just use this with some powder and i feel like it definitely does the job i'm wearing it today it's in the color medium so i love this this is like my fourth or fifth time repurchasing this so i love this product so much they're having an amazing sale at bath and body works for three bit candles they were all 14 dollars, and originally they're like 27, which I feel like they raise the price every single year, I swear. Last year, these were all like $24.99, and now on the bottom, the price tag, it says they are $26.95. So I don't really know what the deal is with that, but on the day that I went, they were all half off, which I think is a great deal. So I picked up one of my favorite fall scents. This is Marshmallow Fireside by White Barn. This candle never gets old. It's amazing. So the notes of this are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. This smells amazing. Basically just smells like a campfire. Kind of smells like s'mores. Really, really great candle. And this next candle is White Pumpkin, also from White Barn. The notes on this are gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. So as you can imagine, this one is very sweet. Definitely just smells like a pumpkin, but it has a little bit of like an apple cider kind of thing into it. Of course, I had to get leaves, couldn't leave the store without it. This is such an autumn classic. I also love this packaging. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So this one is crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. This literally just smells like apple cider, apple picking, apple pie. It has a lot of cinnamon in it. Definitely a lot of apple, you know? So if you don't like that smell, don't get this candle. But this is such a classic for me. I remember being in middle school wanting this candle so bad. I wanted this and mahogany teak wood. And honestly, both leaves and mahogany teak wood have remained my favorite candles to this day. I think fall candles are honestly my favorites to buy. I wouldn't say that's an unpopular opinion. I don't really burn a lot of candles in the spring and summer, you know, occasionally when I'm like cleaning or whatever, but I literally have three different candles going on in this house right now. I have one from Capri Blue that I got at Anthropology. I think it's called Pumpkin Clove and that's actually burning in the other room. So that's what I'm smelling right now. And then I have one upstairs in my bathroom because I just cleaned it with the windows open. And then I have another in my bedroom that's going. So I just have the whole house smelling like fall right now, which is great, but I just wanted a few new ones. Usually I go so 
crazy when the fall candles come out and I get like 10. I wait for them to have their sale day where they're like 50% off and I just go insane and buy literally like 10 candles. So that is everything in my haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life fall vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!